welcome to Logan Sounds Off, where I talk about books, music, and a whole lot more. I'm your host, Logan Kelly. Um, so, welcome to Logan Sounds Off. Today, I am interviewing Pete Gladall. Uh, hey, Pete, how are you today? I'm very well, thanks. Good uh, change, from what I can see. Now, uh, for those who don't know you, uh, though that's very little, um, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> I do lots of different jobs, really. I'm a musician. I'm a studio engineer. I'm the live musical director for the Pet Shop Boys. I mix records. I make records. I play on records. Um, that's about it, really. Wow. And then, from a young age, what kind of music did you grow up with? Uh, pop music. Always pop music. Um, sorry, one sec. Uh, yeah, I was just into pop music and then got more into rock music and then into later on dance music. Um, I always liked indie music. Uh, I like pop music because my because that's what I heard from a kid because that's what my sister used to play. And then uh, I started listening to more indie music, if you like. Uh, uh, and yeah, electronic music because I was fascinated with, with synths and technology and what you could do with it um so pretty much everything really i believe you learned piano and violin and as um a teenager you learned guitar um did that inspire you to pursue music well i didn't like piano lessons but i realized that they, they were useful in the long run um and i played violin in various orchestras, my school orchestra and the town orchestra and Essex Youth Orchestra. Uh, and I later also realised that playing violin has been very good for my ear because you have to listen to things. You have to listen to every single note. You know, if you've got a, if you've got a, <clears throat> if you've got a keyboard, you can see that it's a C or a D, whereas on a violin, you've got to put your finger and you've got to listen to it and check the tuning of each note. Uh, so that was very good for my ear. Um, I started playing guitar because... I thought writing songs on violin was quite difficult, being a single note instrument. So I learned guitar. And then as music technology got more affordable in the 80s, I suppose, yeah, in the 80s, I started writing and working more with synthesizers because it seemed like um, just a very exciting time for music. Um, and then I understand your first release was in 1981 and your first paid job was in 1988. Uh, and then which led on to your big break on George Michael's Faith Tour. What was it like to watch your career take off like that and go from that first release to being on George Michael's Faith Tour? Well, <clears throat> it's quite slow, really. I started... I worked from various music magazines, music technical magazines, because I used to get equipment. Oops, I used to get equipment for to review, which led me to start working with bands. I worked with lots of reggae bands, Aswad, for example. <clears throat> and through working with Aswad, I met Chris Porter, who was George Michael's engineer and producer, and he got me to start working with George Michael, uh, which was quite. It was an eye opener because I hadn't done. You know, it was, his, it was his big faith tour. It was, he got a lot of money from Sony to do the tour, and it was a world tour. I'd never been to America. I'd never been to Australia and Asia and everything. So that was a big eye-opener because to go from, you know, touring the UK and a bit of Europe with uh, Aswad is very different to working with George Michael. It's a different structure. I didn't know what a musical director was. I didn't know what a tour manager was. I didn't know what... Uh, Monitor en- I vaguely knew what a monitor engineer did, but um, I had to learn a lot of things very quickly. Well, and then, as you were saying there, you've worked with some really great people, uh, such as the Pet Shop Boys, obviously, as you said, when I asked you to tell us a little bit about yourself, and you still worked with them a bit. 
Um, you also work with Elton John and Lady Gaga, just to say a few. But for me and my musical taste, may I ask, what was it like working with David Bowie? Like, come on. Uh, pretty amazing. Um, because Neil, Neil from Pet Shop Boys liked one of his songs, Hello Space Boy. And he said he thought it could be a hit, but he didn't like the version that David Bowie had done, which was a bit cheeky. But <laughs> uh, and then David Bowie said, "Oh, why don't you why don't you have a go at it then?" So uh, I, I can't remember exactly what we did. I, I had a studio in, at that time in West London near Notting Hill, uh, Westbourne Park. And I think we may have, I think we may have started the remix there, and then we went to a studio in. Um, in North London and carried on working on it and then Neil we'd restructured the song and we'd slowed it down because his original versions was a drum and bass record it was I don't know 150-145 BPM and we slowed it down to about 128 to be more kind of dance more clubby Um, anyway Neil sang some lyrics and then David Bowie phoned up to see how it was going and Neil told him he said I think I'd better come down so he came down to the studio and listened to what we'd done. And because we'd see the technology, I can't remember the year that we did it. You probably may have it written down, but um, the technology wasn't as good as it is now. So to speed and slow audio up and down was quite difficult at the time. So we had to, anyway, I'd slowed his voice down and it sounded a bit crap, but it didn't sound very good. So um, David Bowie re-sang it. Uh, and I think, I think he might have come in for the second. No, actually, no, he, he just came in for one day. He loved what you we were doing. Resang his his vocals, um, made a few comments, and that was that. It's amazing. Wow. That is very interesting. Um, and you have said something. Good ideas are better than good equipment. What basics would you give to little heroes and admirers of yourself? A uh, good idea, yeah. I mean, you you can make a great record with bad equipment. If, you, if you've got a great song, it doesn't matter how well. It, it helps if you can record it well. It helps if you got. It makes it easier if you've got better equipment. But you know, in uh, you know, when the Beatles made their first records, they weren't. I didn't have fantastic equipment until they started recording for Abbey. You know, for uh, Abbey Road with EMI and a lot of punk records were yeah. great, really exciting. Uh, and they didn't have great equipment. So it, if you've got a great idea, that's way more important. It's just if you do have great equipment, it makes it easier. Wow. And then, actually, my for my final question, which I'm quite interested in, are you working on anything at the moment? I'm always working on things. Um, I've got some, some records coming out, uh, I think, next year on the various dance labels uh uh pet Your boys are i don't i don't work from exclusively they do do a lot of things and they've just been they've just remixed a well-known uh, english male who plays guitar uh and we mixed that last week in the studio in notting hill two separate versions of his record and that will be coming out soon um I've been on tour with the Pet Shop Boys in New Order in America. We we're doing a co-headline tour called the Unity Tour, which is fantastic. Do you know New Order? Uh, yeah, I definitely know New Order. And then I know uh, the way New Order came out of Joy Division as well. So I love New Order. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, that well, that was fantastic, tour, touring with them. So anyway, after doing that, I, I needed a few, I needed a week or two off because I had jet lag and was tired but i'm uh i'm redoing my studio at the moment and i'm working on stuff and working with different people and mixing things for people pretty much all the time well well thank you pete for joining me on logan sounds off today it's been such a pleasure and so interesting to talk to you today good well it'd be lovely to meet you um what, what's the format do you put it out on a on twitter or something or do you have a podcast? i put it up on spotify and youtube okay okay excellent well thanks for taking the time see you peace bye okay. Take care. good to meet you bye 
I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Logan Sounds Off. You can follow me on X, Facebook and Instagram at Logan Sounds Off. And don't forget to subscribe and not miss any more cool episodes. Bye guys! Bye guys!